dream I had, I saw as I walked in here, as I came down that avenue with all of those wonderful children dressed in their own national symbols, but all representative of the richness of humanity, the richness of what the struggle for peace with justice is about, to be able to celebrate, to enjoy, to feel at ease and relaxed whilst protecting the rights and interests of each individual that belongs to this collective which we call our home Australia. Our peace program at Cabramatta is everybody's responsibility, first and foremost. So every student, every staff member has had input into it for a number of years. Some of the things we've been doing more practically is creating a peace garden. And that happened soon after the Twin Towers and all of that that was happening at that particular time. And it was to create a chance to say we need peace and we'll do something solid about it. It was created by every child in the school and it was opened with the blessing of 12 religious leaders in simultaneous fashion. Now, if we can get that to happen in a school, the hope is that you get that to happen more, more broadly. The philosophy of our dreaming impacts on our everyday life. The land of our, of our dreaming is our culture. To us, it's not so much as we own the land. It's that the land owns us. And thus, therefore, we are responsible for country. Today, we are gathered on the land of the capital clan of the Derek Nation. They were water people, they were fresh water people, they were salt water people, and they are mountain people. On behalf of all present, I acknowledge their elders, both past and present. All Aboriginal people and other people from other cultures present here today to meet an extraordinary man. Did you read do? And the one that was. young people, the avenue of honour for me, it reassured me that the future of our country, our great country, is in very good hands here at Cabramatta. And then walking in and seeing these wonderful young people dancing, and when they almost broke my wrist as they came down to give me high fives, I knew exactly that there was strength in the resolution to continue to fight and create in this country a nation that is actually founded on peace with justice. Today yes. was a very good day yes. because I got to meet Patrick Dobson and he's a very good man and Ashcroft. it was nice to see um, all cultures <coughs> come into one school together. It was just a great time for people to understand some of the Aboriginal culture and history and what's been going on and what there can be. It just made me feel proud of being a Buckley. It was so mad. Never felt more proud in my life. Patrick Dodson, a uh, good man. I think he's very peaceful and thank you. Most countries we think of Uluru as the, as the rock uh, centre of uh, Indigenous spirituality. This place is the future, it'll be known as the future cradle of the global Australian, the diversity and richness. Indigenous peoples mixing in an international context with other young people striving to become better uh, in their particular fields of interest and education, but also then becoming the contributors and the shapers of what the global Australian is going to have to be as we go into the, into the future. So, there's, there's, there is a real big future here. I felt really special because I was one of the people that was representing my country 
and I had lot of, lots of fun getting to see some people I've never seen before. I'm from Russia. Uh, now I'm uh, studying in Kabramata High School and today is Peace Day and I'm in my national clothes. It's very uh, exciting uh, when uh, a lot of people uh, see you. I'm very proud. My name is Sebastian. Uh, I'm from this school, Kabramata High, and I'm representing Chile, the country, and the language is Spanish. I would like to see like everybody being happy, like no fighting or like not nothing bad like you know wars and everything. I just want, like peace. We have to stop the racism, discrimination, and all the stuff to live better, and that's what that's what we need. And the indigenous people have got something more to contribute because of that relationship to country, to land, to the extended family obligations and responsibilities that, that go with that, the way you care for each other, to making sure that people are, are loved and embraced. And we can, we can bring some of that to help the people who've, been, uh, uh, who've come here because of adverse circumstances in their own lands. So there's a real role of leadership that has to be played here. Thank you very much. Really inspire. No. You really inspire me. You, you, you are going to be my leaders. You are going to be my leaders. In the future, right? Okay. I hope so. You will be. No, not hope so. You will be. You will be. You will be the leaders.